Um, just after creating a new Dreamweaver site called Project 10 in Dreamweaver and I want to start off developing my website so the first step that I'll always take in any of the labs or the projects that I do in this course is I'll create first of all an index.html page I always call my first page index.html and anytime that I start off a site as well I'll always create a style1.css style sheet so I always take those two steps in conjunction with one another. The HTML, index.html, is just to hold the content. And the style1.css is to control the formatting of that page and all the subsequent pages that I create for this website. So at the end of a project, if I've got a 10-page website, the number of files that I'll have is I'll have the 10 HTML pages and I'll have one style sheet called style1.css. So let's look over here at the files panel. Just after creating a new Dreamweaver site, I'll see an empty site root folder. And I see it there, it's called project 10. If I want to create a new index.html page, I can do a control click or a right click if I have a right click set up on my Mac mouse, just to get a shortcut menu. And I click on new file. And straight away it pops in this new file and it's suggesting a name called untitled.html with untitled selected. Now I obviously don't want to leave it called untitled.html, I want to call it index.html. So I'm just going to replace that untitled with index. .html is there at the end so I can just press enter then. And that file is now created. It's not open yet in my, my view in Dreamweaver, it has just been created there. I now want to create this style1.css file as well. So again, I'm going to move back to the site root folder in my files panel and select it. And then I'll do a control and click again on my mouse. And I go to the new file option again. Same thing happens. A new file gets created. Untitled.html has been suggested to me as the name. Now I know that this is going to be a style sheet with a different file extension than .html it's going to have a file extension .css so this time I'm going to delete everything there out of that suggested name and I'm going to type in the full file name style1.css and then press enter at that stage if I put in .css and press enter Dreamweaver will realize, realize that it's a style sheet that I'm creating and not a HTML page so I've got those two files created they're saved into the site root folder on my hard drive and now I can just link them together so I need to open up this index.html page and I'm going to do that by double clicking on it and it's come up there in design view I'm just going to quickly put that into split view so I can kind of see what's happening to the code here as well so I want to make a link between this HTML file and the style sheet called style1.css that I'm after creating. So over here in my CSS styles panel I want to click on this attach style sheet icon. Now it's a very small icon, it's just got that little link uh, picture on it. It's incredibly important though, I don't know why they made it so small. But I'm going to click on it and that opens this attach external style sheet dialog box. And I'm just going to click on Browse, and I'm going to search around for my style sheet, style1.css. Now, depending on the way that your Mac is set up, and who has previously used it, and all that kind of thing, it could start off a search anywhere. For instance, I'm on my desktop at the moment. A handy button down here at the bottom of this dialog box is this Site Root button. If I click on that Site Root button, it automatically go straight to the site route that I'm already after defining when I'm setting up my Dreamweaver site and I'll see both of the files I'm after, I'm after creating there index.html and style1.css so I'm going to click on style1.css and I'm going to go down to the bottom right of this box and click choose and I'll click OK on this now as I do that, just keep an eye over at the code view 
of my HTML page, I'm expecting to get some change in here. And this is what has happened. By going through that process, I've just put in this line here. This link tag with a href attribute that points to style1.css. And that's what it's all about. What the browser will see when it goes to this HTML page, it will see that any kind of formatting information, it needs to go and look at style1.css to get those style sheet rules so it knows how to format the page. And now my website is ready to go and I'm ready to start actually putting in content into that index.html file and creating rules on my style sheet, style1.css.